this. What 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 is that um, demonstrable you know um, statistics that you think of that demonstrates that um, uh, that there's some serious issues with our healthcare system the way it is? Well, uh, as a wealthy country, you would like to think that the United States has enough uh, resources to purchase the healthcare that it wants and needs. Uh, there is a reason where we spend so much on healthcare because most of us value it highly, but we spend so much on it that you you can rightly start to question the value that we get in return for that spending. And I think that's really where the spending starts to break down and we start to recognize that maybe the value we're getting is not so great. And so I don't, I don't necessarily have a problem with spending a lot on healthcare as long as we get good value in return. That said, there is a problem also with the amount that we spend as a whole, because even if you just look at the budgets of uh, the federal government, as well as state governments, it's going to start to overshadow other sectors um, that also uh, are deeply important to the public. Uh, roads and schools and all those other uh, important uh, public needs are going to get overshadowed if we aren't able to at least uh, if not curtail some of the spending, at least extract better value out of it. Um, but yeah, if you if you look at the, the growth trajectories compared to the consumer price index or any other index of spending, um, that alone, that outpacing of the uh, uh, of our ability to pay for healthcare um, is is you know that's been out of whack for uh, decades and. The, say for a short blip of uh, in the early 90s during the HMO uh, era, uh, we really haven't done much to uh, curtail the spending, um, uh, the growth in spending. But I wanted to return to the, the value equation because even if we continue to spend at this rate, if we could just manage to extract more value, I think we'd all be better off and wouldn't be so concerned about the absolute amount that we're spending. And there you have to see where the dollars are going. And, you know, we, we tend to underspend on things like prevention and primary care. I think um, we, we all recognize that anybody who's looked at the numbers and, you know, we overspend on things that perhaps could have been prevented uh, on, um, you know, severe chronic diseases, multiple chronic diseases, end of life care, um, you know, uh, prenatal, uh, care for uh, um, uh, premature uh, infants, for example. I mean, these are all things that with a proper, properly functioning system, ideally we would be spending our dollars in a much better way. Yeah. Hear the entire episode for free on iTunes, Spotify, other favorite podcast players, or go to mechanicalcareforum.com.